YouTube. Um, so today, what we're going to be doing, um, we're going to start the unhaul. Now, this bookcase is a pallet um, bookcase that Zoe made. Um, I think it was actually one of the first videos I put up here. Um, when there was nothing on it. I don't actually don't know. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be going through these books and putting aside ones I'm keeping and ones I'm not. <sighs> don't know what I'm going to do with the books I'm not keeping yet. But this will be tricky because a lot of these books are books that I've had for a really long time. And... Um, have kind of like sentimental value, I guess. So this will be tricky. Um, I think to start things off, we're going to go right here. Okay. Now, I was thinking about this um, all night, really, last night. <laughs> Um, Shaylee probably is just now getting home, which means this is a horrible time to do this video. But basically, some of these books, like the Robin Cook books, um, Stephen King books, these are so readily found, like at every bookstore, that I might be okay getting rid of these. Um, so, uh, let's start with Robin Cook, because I don't know what I'm going to do with Stephen King. Hello. Filming on the floor. Filming on the floor. Doing an unhaul. Um, let's see here. I know I had more. Actually, I think just... Certain authors in general. Um, uh, yeah, we'll come back to that. So, Ghost Story, Peter Straub. This book weighs way more than it should. Um, this is a gorgeous copy of this. Like, the spine looks good. The cover's really great. This is, I have to think about. Stephen King. Oh, shit. These are all going to fall on me. Wait, what are you doing? An unhaul. Like, books we're going to get rid of. Mm -hmm. um, Stephen King, Desperation. <laughs> I could definitely get rid of this. This is everywhere. I see this in every bookstore I go into. Um, this copy of The Shining with the shine. Oh, that is dusty. That's embarrassing. Um, with this shiny silver cover, I'm keeping because I've had this book for a very long time and I just love the cover. So that's pretty tacky. Um, different seasons. I don't know how I feel about the orange cover. Normally I find this with a black cover as well. This has um, Stand By Me. It's actually called The Body, but the story Stand By Me is in here. An apt pupil. Um, what else is in here? Oh, is that like multiple stories? Huh? Is that like multiple stories? Yeah. Oh, um, Shawshank Redemption. And then the, uh, the Breathing Method. Now, The Body is like one of my all-time favorite stories, with the exception of all the stories that Gordy wrote that are littered in it. Um, uh, this is a, I gotta think about that. Uh, skeleton crew. I see this everywhere. I could get rid of that probably. Misery. Let me know because what I really like about this edition of it is that it has the romance cover with Stephen King as the guy for Misery's Return. Um, I don't know if all of the paperback editions of this have that inside. Let me know down below if you know that, because if 
they don't, I'm going to hang on to this. But if they do, I'm going to get rid of it. Because that is definitely another book I see everywhere. Um, <sighs> Game of Thrones. George R. R. Martin. That is going. <laughs> Helter Skelter. Um, this I've had for a really long time, too. So... I think I'm going to keep it. I know Zoe really likes that book. So... There's that. One of my favorite books growing up, How to Prevent Monster Attacks. I have two copies of this. Yeah, I I'm keeping it. Yes, you had it for a while, too. You actually might have the other copy of this oh, yeah. in with your books. No? Okay. Um, the Influence, Ramsey Campbell. That's getting kept. The only books I have in the room are the um, story stories in the dark and like my YouTuber books and stuff like that. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Crib, Harold Lee Freeman. Keeping that. This movie quiz book is kind of dated. Mm. I don't know. That might be a goner. Um, George Martelli, The Man Who Saved London. I think this is Zoe's book. So I'm going to have to ask her about that. And A Date with Death, I think, is Zoe's as well. So she actually does have some books on here. But that's one shelf. So we kind of did it. Got rid of half. That's, that's something. All right. Next. <sighs> the search for the Green River Killer. He's already been found. So that'll go. <laughs> what? That book came out before they solved the case. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, Alan Dean Foster, The Black Hole. I will keep that. Murder in Brentwood um, by Mark Furman. I haven't really talked about this, I don't think, on this channel before, but um, I was on the freeway when um, the white Bronco with OJ and Al Cowlings was driving by, and they, like, stopped all the traffic. Um, this was, like, not only a huge case for the media but like for me this was just like a big deal because this was like on tv every day and all anyone ever talked about so um this was a pretty big thing but i think i'm gonna get rid of it like Pee Wee herman says in Pee Wee's big adventure i don't need to watch the movie i lived it Moving right along. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, the Phantom of the Opera, Gaston Leroux, um, Signet Classic. I've had this forever, so I'm going to hang on to that probably. Um, all right. Man, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Why didn't you guys tell me that this was going to be a difficult thing to do? Just grab books and go through them. I know. I know. I knew. Okay. Um. Now, let's take these. Keep and hopefully, like not all of them fall. Yeah. Okay. So, let's do it like this. I have. <laughs> A few Ross McDonald books here. These aren't going anywhere. Okay, so I'm hanging on to those. Um, the Barbarous Coast, Trouble Follows Me, The Underground Man. Um, this one is tricky. Um, Gore Vidal's Meyer Breckenridge. I really wanted to read it.
Dude, I could burn through this. The line spacing in this is ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to keep it. At least for a little bit. I'm going to try to read that soon. Then I have a bunch of like Earl Stanley Gardner that I haven't read yet. Um, I've been buying Earl Stanley Gardner books um, because I've been planning on reading them. And I just haven't. Um, but here are kind of like a spectrum of covers. Um, these ones, I believe, are some of the older ones that I have. The Silver Spine Pocket Editions. Um, this is the case of the Waylaid Wolf. Um, Earl Stanley Gardner's 100th book. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So I'll keep that. And then these ones, who put these out? Oh, these are also pocket books. There are these like weird covers with these like chicks being weird. Um, this is the worried waitress. She doesn't look worried. And then the dangerous Dowinger. Are you joking me? She's like, I smoke cigars. Um, and then this, like, I might just get rid of this because this is a jank cover that I don't give a shit about. Um, but this is the case of the one-eyed witness. I actually think I have this. Hmm. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So that's a maybe. Now, this book is kind of falling apart, which irritates me to no end. But um, this is the only paperback I have of the author Day Keen. Um, it's two novels in one. Who has Wilma Lathrop and Murder on the Side? Um, I have Day Keen like short stories in like my big book of pulps or black mask, um, the black lizard collections, but finding his books is really flipping hard. Um, and this is the only one I've ever seen in a bookstore. So, um, there's no way in hell I'm getting rid of that. Even if it falls apart and I have to like tape it to death. All right, so that was a bunch of books I'm not getting rid of for some stupid reason. So let's start moving on, moving on. James Patterson, Virgin. I'm going to get rid of it because James Patterson is everywhere. Oh, man, this is going to be a tough one. Michael Crichton's The Andromeda Strain. I like this cover. I do. Um, fuck. I don't know. And then The Terminal Man. Um, I don't know. Hmm. That is a conundrum. Uh, let me just pull the rest of these down. V, I'm going to hang on to because I have very lovely memories of this show when I was a kid. Um, I This copy's beat to shit. So this is like a placeholder copy because I would love a nice copy of that. Um... I have another copy of this, but this one is in banging shape. Not a crack on the spine. Cover looks good. So I'll need to find my other 2010 and see what kind of condition that's in. Um, this, 1984 by George Orwell, this is like my favorite cover of this book. Um, except I can't remember what I did, but I smashed it and... Um, was I hammering something with the book? I don't know. I did something stupid and fucked the cover up. But um, I just love the starkness of this cover. I just... 
like ever since and then it's on the spine too which i really like but when i saw this because i think i had another copy of this and when i saw this at i think it was at barnes and noble i was just like entranced i love this cover i really do so that's a keeper okay now for some definite keepers um murray leinster monsters and such look at that book look at that seven startling stories of the inhuman and non-human by the unrivaled master of the impossible i'm reading backwards um so yeah so that's a keeper and then for shizzle this is a keeper ralph m farley um i believe this was originally put out as the radio man maybe not but an earth man on venus look at that cover this is what dreams are made of this right here this is why people this is why science fiction and fantasy became popular because of this <sighs> What do we got here? The best from fantasy and science fiction. A panther book with um, Heinlein's All You Zombies, Besters, The Pie Man, Sturgeons, The Man Who Lost the Sea, um, and many others. Let's see. William Ten, George P. Eliot, um, edited by Robert P. Mills. This is just a very beautiful book, for sure. Uh, ooh. Now we're talking my language. Rare science fiction. We got some El Sprig de Camp. Uh, those are the only names I know in there. Um, Belmont Science Fiction series. 50 cents yeah so keeping that another Linster book creatures of the abyss look at that yeah there's no way these are going anywhere um this book ow this is not the most comfortable place, and now that I have boxed myself in with books, I am trapped. And I'm panicking. <sighs> Whew, that is so much better. Um, I think I showed this on BookTube before, but um, C.S. Forrester wrote a book called The Gun for the military. Um, this is stamped Orlando Air Base Library. The Fighting Forces series, the story of the gun and the gorillas, the infantry journal. And on the back, it has all the other um, standard military books and manuals that you could pick up. I don't know if I would actually like ever sit down and read this. In fact, it's in pretty bad shape inside but um, it is such a nice little book when was this written 1943 so this is just kinda cool so I'll probably keep that and we're on the fence about that until we see the other one who okay well I am not doing very well as far as getting rid of stuff I have a bigger pile of keep than a pile of getting rid of so I need to fix that right now um and I don't know how I'm gonna do it to be honest with you I'm looking at these books and I'm just like 
Uh, some of these are like, if I haven't read them, like, in the last year or so, I'm probably not gonna. Unless, I don't know. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna pull some of these down, and I think the whole shelf's gonna fall. So let's see what happens here. Okay. Now, um, I love these V.C. Andrews book covers. Okay? Absolutely love them. The die cut, I remember seeing these in the grocery store growing up, and I was always like, ooh, she's pretty, and then I'd go, oh, because there's scary kids and some ghost. So, um, the horror began with flowers in the attic. The shocking fury continued with petals on the wind. And if there be thorns, and now the saga continues with seeds of yesterday. Now, what I will say about these books, I think if there be thorns is the one I don't have. Um... Flowers in the night, pearls on the wind, if there be thorns, seeds of yesterday. Okay, here's here's where I'm thinking. I'm going to keep all of the Flowers in the Attic books, but all my other V.C. Andrews I'm going to get rid of. So, um, seeds of yesterday... Petals... On the wind. Now, petals on the wind and flowers in the attic. There's no die cut. So I will replace these with die cut. Bugs are back, guys. It's springtime. Um, Garden of Shadows. At last, the story of how it all began. Before the terror of flowers in the attic. Evil was spawned in a garden of shadows. Oh, they look evil. Look at them. They're like, we're evil. Um, yeah, so these books I will keep. The rest of these... Um, Midnight Whispers, I'm not even going to look at the covers, because I'll want to keep them. Twilight's Child, Secrets of the Morning, and the mother of all sh <sighs> All these books just fell down. I knew that was going to happen. I thought it was going to happen sooner. Dark Angel, um, Gates of Paradise, Web of Dreams, those are all gone. Hannibal, I see this book everywhere, not worried about getting rid of that. Silence of the Lambs, I see it everywhere, not worried about getting rid of that. Shadow of the Beast. Now this, I have to talk to Zoe about. So this will go in the, it might be Zoe's book pile. <laughs> Johnny Got His Gun. I don't even want to read it, but I love this cover so much that I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't know what I want to do with that. So that's in the maybe. Oh my gosh, look at this mess. All right. So all of the. Oh wait, no, these are. I'm keeping flowers in the attic. That's going. That's going. These are all going. Aha. San Andreas. Um, Alistair McLean. I started picking these up on. Um, recommend from Mark Richardson. I just haven't read any yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep them or get rid of them. I know the bookstore in Apple Valley has a ton of his stuff. So I might get rid of them. I don't know. I got to think about this for a minute. So, so this is also in the that could happen pile. And then this book I've had for a long time. Because one of my favorite things in the world is Friday the 13th. And this is Jason X, The Experiment. This book um, is hot trash. I didn't like it. Um, 
it should never have happened. But it's a Friday the 13th book. So do I keep it because it's Friday the 13th? Or do I get rid of it because it's hot trash? Get rid of it. It's hot trash. <sighs> okay. So that's that's that thought. Oh, God, this is so hard. Okay. Um, <laughs> Why is your hair bobby pin back? So it doesn't get in my face. You're also using the wrong side of the bobby pin. I'm using whatever I want. I make, I, I make my own rules. May I tell you a quick funny story so you can take a breather? Yeah, I'm just making a video. What's up? Today in history, we were mm -hmm. watching a video on World War I. Yeah. And my teacher pressed play on it. At the same time he pressed play, uh, Eleanor Rigby by... The Beatles. The Beatles played. And it was such perfect timing and it was really upsetting because it was soldiers getting shot at and it just started playing that song. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thought you would laugh at that, but I guess not. Well, it's okay. It's neat that you have a Beatles story. That's kind of interesting. All righty then. I know. This is so hard. Okay. Um, Dean Kuntz. Easy to find. I can find him anywhere. The Sea Witch. Alistair McLean. Might be getting rid of that. Um, Robert McCammon, Boy's Life. This is one of Zoe's favorite books. Um, I'll save that off to the side for her. I think she has it in hardcover. I don't know if she wants to keep that. Um, James Elroy, Blood on the Moon. Ah, man. This is tricky. Ooh, James Elroy. Uh, we'll come back to that. I don't know. True Detective by Max Allen Collins. I love Max Allen Collins. I just don't know if a book about prohibition is anything that I'll want to jump into. Although I've heard nothing but awesome stuff about this book. So, <sighs> maybe. Um... The Lonely Lady by Harold Robbins. That's going. Um, Richard North Patterson. The Lasco Tangent. That's going. Melvin Burgess. Smack. <sighs> I really like heroin books do you guys think I would like this tell me quick if you've read this okay now I got some Louis L'Amour um, I'm probably going to keep all my Louis L'Amour I got Son of a Wanted Man Long Ride Home, The Shadow Riders, Hanging Woman Creek, The High Graders, Guns of the Timberlands, Broken Gun, and that's all of his books I have on that shelf. Yeah, I'm keeping those. Um, I got some Luke Short here. Marauder's Moon. Probably going to keep that. The Perfect Stranger by Wendy Corsi Staub. That'll go. Panhandle by Brett Cogburn. If anyone's read this, let me know if it's any good. Um, shit. 
He's the great grandson of Rooster Cogburn. Don't know if I want that or not. William W. Johnstone with J. A. Johnstone, Butch Cassidy, The Lost Years. Um, Troy, is this the guy you read? If it is, let me know, because I'll give this a go. I think it is, is it? That'll be a maybe, and I'll put Panhandle in the maybe. Now, the last two here. <sighs> Jesus. It's been a while since I <sighs> opened that shelf. Um, Gremlins. Uh, I think this is Zoe's might be mine, but I think we want to start collecting um, movie novella adapt or movie novel adaptations. Um, so I'll ask her if we're still going to do that. And then finally, my copy of the Canterbury Tales. Um, this book, um, this is the one I got in high school. <sighs> Between this book and me reading Lord of the Rings at the same time I was reading this, my desire to become a writer intensified beyond belief. Um, I haven't read this in a long time, but I have like the cliff notes for it and everything. And I remember in high school trying to take apart everybody's tale and figure out like the formula of telling a story um i have a peachy folder if you remember those that has all of my notes and the cliff notes for this book and the notes of a story i was working on at the time um so this book even though i haven't read it in like 20 years has more than 20 years jesus fucking christ how old am i this book has such strong significance to my life. Um, I do want to ask, though. Ooh, look yeah. at how cute you are. You've got a nice mess going on here. You got a nice hot mess right there going on. <laughs> that sounds You guys should sense. see her. She's adorable. Turn the camera around quick. No. Okay. No. Okay, she's running. <laughs> um, I'm sure she'll hard. be on a video here shortly. But anyway. This one is selected, edited, and translated by A. Kent Hyatt and Constance Hyatt. My question for you. Is there, like, a definitive copy of this book? Like, the best translation, the best annotations. Um, basically, Steve and Mark, I'm talking to you. Like, help me. What is the best edition of this book I can have. Um, and that is one side of the palette bookcase. Um, that was a lot harder and took a lot longer than I thought it would. So, um, yeah, we'll do the other side another time. Bye.